Every Northern Californian winter is full of anticipation for the day when the snow in the Sierras melts enough to start doing the high altitude rides. A trip to Downeyville and riding its world-renowned 15 miles of downhill is always on the list. It's one of those places that's popular with the locals no matter how many times you've been there and it also brings in people from far away. This year, a fellow YouTuber, Rich, from the Semi Sendy channel came out to experience Downeyville for a few days. We knew we had to get a ride in together, but since his trip was already packed with Downingville rides, I wanted to show him the other two trails that some refer to as the Sierra Downhill Trifecta. Downeyville, Mount Huff, and Mills Peak. These three trails are always on the list of shuttles to do, and some take on the task of doing all three in one day. Today, we'll be showing Rich, Mount Huff, and Mills Peak. What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert. This is the Biker Channel. Today, we're on the top of the world at Mount Huff, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. We picked up Rich in Downeyville and took the Yuba shuttle from Quincy to the top of Mount Huff. The trail starts out fast, and pretty much stays that way the whole time. A little loose. So if you haven't done Mount Huff before, it's just a screaming fast downhill. Woo! And that is the most technical spot on the whole ride. I honestly think like you don't even have to be upper intermediate to be on this trail. Um, it's, it'll just go slower. Don't let the fact that it's in the middle of the mountains slow you down and make you think, oh, I'm not good enough for that. Because that's not the case. Haven't been up here since the fires. It's definitely crazy driving up and seeing some of the spots where it's just freaking no forest at all. It's not the, I mean, look at this place right now. Like this used to be a straight up forest. And now it's a straight up toothpick factory. To put it into perspective, this is what that exact corner looks like. Just a couple of days before the fire ripped through that area. It's always one thing watching on the news that there's a huge fire, but when you get on your bike and ride through the damage, it's overwhelming in a way that you just can't quite grasp while sitting on the couch. It's a bummer that the forest isn't green, but it'll come back. And in the meantime, it doesn't change how much fun this trail is. Woo! The trail's actually in pretty good shape. I'm surprised that it's not like more blown out just because it's been really dry. And uh, there's a lot of people coming up here nowadays. And then with all the vegetation being grown or burnt out, I figured the erosion was gonna be worse. Woo, a little slick in there. This is the part where I have to level with you and cut the mountainese. There are a few short little climbs on this descent, but nothing to be too worried about. This is definitely not my normal kind of ride because I really prefer the chunk over this flowy stuff, but you can't go wrong from time to time getting into the flow, right? Can't say no to flow. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, a little hot. Nice. Little, little hoppies. I don't know what those are, but apparently a new word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun, huh? It's like that the whole time. That's awesome. First impressions. Pretty rad, super flowy, super fun. It's like an amusement park. It's like a sweet little roller coaster ride. So we're just ripping down through here, kicking up some dust and having fun. And right on. no complaints, man. No complaints sweet. at all. <laughs> what are you thinking, Johnny? It's like alpine skiing, man. I'm hitting the slaloms through the trees. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. Right. Right. Jumps. Yeah, right on, right, dude. Man. Good stuff. Let's get some more. Yeah. All right. So the Quincy area, super close 
to Gray Eagle, which has Mills Peak Trail, and Downeyville, which most people know. These are a little less known, but just as fun. If you're familiar with Downeyville and Third Divide, it's probably the fastest section of that downhill route that most people talk about. The, way, the best way to describe Mount Huff is an 11 mile long Third Divide. I've been saying this a lot in my videos, but really if you don't support any of your local trail advocacy places, please do. Those guys were out here cleaning this stuff up as soon as that fire was out so that we'd be able to be riding again. That means a lot. If you can't come out and dig, at least you can come out, drop some change in the bucket. That helps too. It's crazy when you come do rides like this that you only do maybe once or twice a year. When you come back, you can really see how much you've progressed because you haven't ridden it in a year, you know? Nice. That's so fun. Super active through there. Yeah. Anybody in the comments know how to turn that beep off? I don't want it to not track the, the jumps, but I want it to stop beeping when I jump. Oh shit. I forgot about these. haven't changed your brake pads in a while and you're coming to Mount Huff you should probably change them before you get here because this place is just freaking gonna light them up this is the best Instagram picture here behind the scenes YouTube behind the scenes <laughs> this is how ridiculous we always look right <laughs> I'm YouTubing. before you know it it came to an end and after a quick pedal back to the shop we were on the road to Mills Peak. Well, if you followed the channel for a while, you know I'm not crazy about heights, but I'll take you guys up here just to show you. This is the part where I don't like it. Not a fan. Oh God, I hate this. Good thing it's all covered in. No, I don't. This is not my natural habitat at all. <laughs> Two more steps. <laughs> oh, you freaking rat bastard. Look at that camera here. Look at this guy, all happy. <laughs> you don't need to do anything. You gotta get up so I can get out. No. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. Uh, don't get too close to Don't like it. <laughs> Not a fan. All right, plenty of, plenty of footage. That was sweet. I did it. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm leaving. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That was so good. All right, that's that. That's Mills Peak. If you want to see more, go check out Semi Cindy's page or uh, come up here yourself. <laughs> like, like, like I'm 60 or something. Like you got a you got a YouTube page or? You got a website. I got a URL. Click on my link. If you want to see more than that, definitely go check out Semi Sandy's YouTube channel. He'll definitely do a better job at this than me. I'm I'm a fucking amateur, so let's be real. So as you can see, just a hair more chunky than it is over at Mount Huff. 
but as we get a little further on down you'll start to notice it opens up but still has really fun chunk and gnar along the way so this first section in my head is always like the warm-up it's just kind of like gets you going gets your head in the right space then you got a little tiny climb and after that then it's on all right it's a little bit of this it's not a super long one but it's definitely if you come with just shuttle day in your mind it'll definitely uh throw a little monkey branch in there catch my breath is that the climb that's it yeah put it this way that's the main one i remember all right lots of little jibs little pops along the way you just gotta find them like pick your poisons but also keep your eyes up because your landing might be shit. <laughs> Good old Mills Jank. <laughs> Learn to appreciate your dropper here and there. You'll have a little bit of a pedal. Crank it up to that full XC experience. <laughs> I'm not sure if you caught that there, but it was me abusing the hell out of my rim. Like I said earlier, this trail has a ton of rocks on the top half, and when you're cooking along, it's so easy just to put a hurt on your wheels. My advice, don't go too low with your tire pressure. Whew. Ah. Yeah, nice. Whew. What I found with this trail is if you can set your day up so that you can do two runs, it's really good because there'll be a lot of stuff that you're like oh remember that's a drop or oh remember that little kicker right there and then on your second lap you're able to take advantage of it oh, look at this i'm checking in for the flow train Whew. this is a roller if I remember, oh, it's to the right of where I was at. <laughs> I knew it was rollable, but apparently I forgot that. Right about now, I'm going to trigger some people. I honestly like this trail more than Downeyville's downhill. It's just super active the whole way down, and it's really easy to self-shuttle. We usually do an odd man out, and the driver typically isn't waiting very long at the bottom. Ooh. It has great high speed gnar all the way down and the lower sections really open up into more flow. It's so easy to come here and do three or four runs. <laughs> that one came up quick. Every run just gets better and better because all the features are so fresh in your head. I highly recommend this trail. Oh, and while I'm pissing people off, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All right. All right, let's get back to the trail. You know what doesn't suck? This trail? this trail right on dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah this is a fun one killer killer trail so I for him at Mount Huff. i'm really glad we went but i was yeah this is like yeah Mount Huff, yeah so <laughs> nice nice i'm glad that um we we're able to make them both happen and i'm glad we did it in this order go for it dude okay send her from this point the trail starts to get a bit faster with less rocks however it's no Mount huff and it will still have some sections that really activate the suspension and make you think, I thought Biker said it was more flowy now. <laughs> nice.
Ooh. All this is scratching. This will knock the, the cavities out for sure. <laughs> you got any fillings? They won't be there anymore by the end of this section. <laughs> Rich getting away with getting away from me on that 29er up there. We'll blame it on the bike, but we all know it's really the skill set. Come on, let's be honest. Rich is just a better rider. I think that's enough space between us where now I don't have the dust. You can see the trail. It was definitely pretty sketchy back there when we were just cooking it and uh, I couldn't see the trail at all. If I remember correctly, in through here is where it kind of starts to remind me of Ben. Bigger wide open sweepers. Little, little tech here and there. Sweet baby, Jesus. Oh, the back is cooked right now. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> what's your verdict uh a plus a plus yeah. right on that was most excellent what's uh, this one of my overall favorites sweet dude yeah that's awesome man it's definitely my style right on dude i'm glad that we got a chance to hang out man Me too. freaking this is definitely uh definitely good times Me too. just when you're thinking it's over mills peak has one more little extra credit section down to the truck however keep your eyes open or you'll pass the trail but if I remember, it's right here. This section's pretty fun if you have like still a lot of juice left, but when you start getting worked, you're like, ah, I don't even care. I can tell I'm getting lazy. I'm pretty sure I heard my shoulder touch that tree. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. And like that, we rotated drivers and got another run in, totaling up the day with around 35 miles of riding. So the next time you're camping in Downeyville, take a drive down the other side of Packer Saddle and check out these two trails. And if not, just remember, it only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and be one.